Gaijin American is asking, what are your thoughts on social Darwinism? And just to, uh, I will define it quickly. The theory that individuals, groups, and peoples are subject to the same Darwinian laws of nature, natural selection as plants and animals. Now largely discredited, blah, blah, blah. Armin, so it's ahead. basically a, a giant appeal to nature fallacy. Basically, it's 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 the it's the understanding that just because in nature there ha there seems to be the survival of the fittest, right? That's how evolution works. And like, oh, that's how nature works. Therefore, it must be good because that's how nature works. And therefore, we should apply the same logic to society like natural basically natural therefore good which is moronic because the whole point like when it comes to coming it's the opposite it's the exact opposite of what we need to do when it comes to society because just because something something happens in nature it doesn't mean that you have to create a mirror image of that when it comes to policies and uh, strategies on how to manage a society given that we as human beings we want to create societies where we protect the weakest okay not, not it's the opposite of what we should be doing right so yes in nature in evolution right in in the what we have is the fittest will survive okay so the people that looked at, upon that, they came to the conclusion that, okay, given that that's what happens in nature, we have to look at society and we have to also make the fittest survive. So that meant that uh, they supported like laws of air, like, capitalism, capitalism with zero regulations, so just so that the fittest survive. And also euthanasia, right? They're like, hey, yeah, evolution says the fittest should survive. So we should also do the same thing. By the way, some idiotic believers, religious people, think that, oh, look, you believe in Darwinism, therefore you should believe in these things as well. You should like you don't you believe in Dar don't you believe in evolution? Uh -huh. Okay, so therefore you should believe that in society the fittest should survive. No, you moron. In society, we do the opposite. In society, we want to we want to create institutions and foundations and government that protect the weakest because the strongest do not need the protection of the government as much as they need as much as the weakest do just because something is happened just because we accept we know and we claim that something happens in nature that doesn't mean that that's a remedy for how to run the society you got them morons okay by the way this whole concept of social darwinism is what led to the greatest crimes in World War II, right, by Adolf H., right? This was the idea of like, oh, this the survival of the fittest. Let's just eliminate the weakest people, right? And by the way, this, this thing that this whole concept of social Darwinism that eventually led to the gas chambers in, the, by, in World War II, this came out of the United States. The doctors in the United States decided that this is the best way. Gas chambers was one of the solutions they offered to do social Darwinism. And then the German doctors went to the United States. They learned that the, the, the American doctors, they're like, I don't think the United States is ready to do something like this. The Germans were like, hold our beer. And they went um, they went back to Germany and they were like, let's do, let's do this here. And that's resulted in one of the world's greatest human rights violations. So yeah, social Darwinism is extremely dangerous unless, unless some people say social Darwinism also includes genetically like future genetical modification of removing diseases or enhancing strength and stuff like that i don't think that is social darwinism because that, so anything that is um, darwinism will require some form of selection or breeding if you go genetically enhance um you know a living being that's not like then there's no selection happening so i don't i, I don't think that is it, you could be that is remotely the same as euthanasia or like social social engineering i think that's a positive i think like um if you could scientifically we get to a place where um we could genetically modify humans in a point in a way that they're resistant to diseases resistance to cancer this resistance to heart disease maybe smarter maybe stronger i think that's progress because you're not committing you're not harming anybody 
uh, you're not eliminating any group of people because they are they have any defects or they're or they're, or they're weaker or they're you know they're not they don't have able bodies you're just enhancing people you know you're not harming anybody that that i think is fine but go well, some people would say that you are getting rid of people because you're not even allowing that to exist in the environment to begin with you're not yeah but you're not getting any people you're not getting rid of, rid of people who are alive. already there but what's interesting yeah. is that you armin mr navabi you get accused of social social slash cultural darwinism a lot how did you know this no who yes you do because oh. you're always talking about um not always but sometimes you talk about um cultures that are superior and values that are superior and how values that are inferior are going to go the way of the dodo and that with that is going to go traditionalism and religiosity mm -hmm. etc so i particularly remember when you were on ap apostate uh, prophets channel last year mm -hmm. you were talking mm -hmm. about this in the midst of our blasphemy controversy and you were clipped during towards the end of your conversation with him going off about inferior cultures and inferior values right me okay so that's actually the opposite of social engineering social darwinism because what i'm suggesting is that inferior cultures are cultures who are inferior at protecting the weak right so the so social darwinism is the idea that the strongest should survive I'm talking about the culture and values that are superior. They're superior be because they protect the weakest among us, mm -hmm. the most unfortunate, the most like. So the when minority. I say, for example, the minority, the yeah. So, for example, if I say, you know, Hindutva culture is inferior is because of its oppressing of the Dalits. Well, actually, Hindutva, no, Hinduism culture is like inferior is because of the oppression of Dalits, right? Of the outcasts, right? So that is the op like what I'm advocating for is the opposite of social Darwinism because social Darwinism would be like, oh, these people have failed in society. So let them fail, let them let the society eliminate them so that society could progress faster. I'm like, no, superior values are values that go, af go you know, and pr create a shield and protect the weak, um, take, creates an effort to uh, lift them up uh, take care of them so yeah when i say a culture or a value is superior i'm not talking about people i'm talking about a set of ideas when it comes to the people the weaker people are the priority when it comes to the ideas when it comes to ideas the strongest ideas are i am in favor of them compared to the weakest ones and um and the weakest ideas are the ones that don't protect the weak when it comes to people i actually put um in favor of prioritizing the weakest and by weakest i mean the people who are not able the people who are um poor the people who are oppressed the people who are considered uh the minority yeah cool yeah or when we were in the midst of being uh just hmm. stormed with that that was a constant accusation in my replies he's a social darwinist i was like oh my god also by the way for the for the people for the people in the light chat who's who's saying that the dalits is a is a british um british invention i uh, congrats congratulations to the indians who don't know their own history this is completely in the videos i've studied your videos and this is an in the whole caste system and the outcasts and everything is it predates the british empire it predates britain being a, even a country it's ancient it's within hinduism it's, it's it's completely a hindu concept the british have done a lot of bad things in india this is not one of them this is a this is completely a hindu thing i would well, i would say that the british they take did advantage formalize of it, yes. it legally but Yes, anyways but it was besides the point yes. we got to move on to the next question they, no 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 they did formalize it legally that is correct but they didn't invent it it was completely it completely predates um the british empire atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.